So what are we doing today? All right, just finished up the install of a gate access system for my property. Uh, I live out very rural area with a very long driveway. As you can see, driveway just goes on and on and on. And what I did was I needed a way to install an intercom down here uh, without running wires. I mean, I could have run wires, but it would be over a thousand feet of intercom wire that I would need to run. And there's not a whole lot of long range intercom solutions out there. The main ones you're going to run into is um, you're going to run into a like a VHF radio system, the MERS system. They make a pretty expensive intercom system there that will work for miles. And then the other one, which it would work anywhere, which I went with, is a GSM system, which is what we have here. This is a uses a GSM cellular device to um, send the signal to make a call, basically, to whoever you want for your gate access. And I'll explain to you how that works here. So what I have is just a basic farm type gate setup, and I have the Mighty Mule 350 gate opener, and I've had it for about a year. Um, there's a lot of bad reviews out there about it, but actually it's worked pretty good for us. Uh, we have it set up in a open out configuration, which requires the uh, optional push to open bracket here, and how we have ours set up. You can do um, either AC power to charge the battery or uh, solar power. And because of where we are, we're out in a very remote area, it's all woods, there's really no sun for a uh, solar setup. So the one cable we did have to run down here was a uh, had to bury an underground cable about 800 feet to a, a pole barn that had electric. And it's a like a I think it's a like a 24 volt transformer, lower voltage, and then uh, all the electronics for the gate are housed inside of here on the 350. There's no actual separate control panel, and then we have a marine type deep cycle battery that's in the box right here. Now I have a couple different things that I've set up that I'll show you. Um, for accessing the gate. The first one is, obviously this is what comes with the uh, gate right here. It uses the GTO Mighty Mule remotes that you can buy. It's pretty short range. I mean, you have to be, it's like a garage door opener. You have to be really close for it to work. Um, I basically incorporated a long range transmitter system. And this is the antenna, it's hard to see, sticking out of the top here that I've housed inside of here and it runs off of the 12 volts in the battery and what it is it's just a universal uh, gate opener garage door opener system but it has a much longer range and we use that up at the house to actually trigger the gate if someone pulls up okay just like any other gate opener this accepts a you know, your common and slash normally open trigger. Um, it just needs to be a, like a one second pulse uh, to complete the circuit from this, and it will uh, cycle the gate. So if it's open, it'll close it. If it's closed, it'll open it. And if it's in the process of opening or closing, it will stop it. So uh, it's a pretty common uh, way to trigger the gate. All right. So th that's basically the whole setup I have here. What I did is I mounted the, the a post down there with the alarm or the uh, intercom and a keypad access system. The keypad access I have is part also part of the Mighty Mule system and it is wireless and it's programmed in just like any other wireless remote to the system. Um, for the intercom to work though, I needed to get 12 volts out to it. So what I did was I just tapped into my 12 volt supply that runs from the battery that's always kept charge and it's it's actually all that's housed inside of here and then i ran some conduit down into the ground and just trenched under the ground 
and I've got four wire underground cable. It's uh, power, ground, and then a cycle, normally open, normally closed, and I'll explain why here in a minute. So we got that, uh, trenched out the driveway, which wasn't very much fun. I'm getting ready to pour concrete on the pole here, and I've got it run up into here. Now the reason I did that, honestly, I could now power a uh, wired gate control since I have my uh, trigger going up there and my power, but I just kept the wireless set up. This thing, the batteries last forever and it's not really an issue. I ran all that out here for the intercom. The intercom will run off of 12 to 24 volts, AC or DC. So I'm powering it with 24 volts DC, or I mean, excuse me, 12 volts DC. The trigger is also connected in the intercom. Um, this is a Advent Controls is the name of the company that makes this. They're out of uh, the UK. Uh, they didn't want to send it to me at first because it only works on 2G uh, GSM system. And if you're not aware, AT&T is sunsetting all of their 2G network so they can use the spectrum for LTE. But as long as you're in an area where you have T-Mobile, uh, this will still work because T-Mobile is planning on keeping their 2G system around until at least 2020 and maybe even further than that. After that, you would have to have a 3G intercom system, and those are much more expensive and harder to find. Uh, you'll find a few of these on eBay and Amazon. They're in the price range, not this brand. They're in the price range of $600 to over $1,000. The same thing with the MERS VHF systems. They're over $1,000 minimum, and I didn't really want to spend that kind of money. I was able to get this one from the UK for under $200. It was right about $200 with shipping and or 156 pounds or whatever they want for it but i tell you this is the best deal there is when someone comes up to the gate you can they push the button it says instructions push to call when it pushes the button it, it starts ringing it actually calls my cell phone so even if i'm not at home I, it'll show up on my screen that the gate's calling me i can answer the call have a conversation with the person at the gate and then if i want to grant them access there's a certain key you press on the keypad that then cycles the trigger, which is connected to the wires that I buried, and cycles the gate. Same thing. A lot of these, I was having trouble finding one specifically that would let me call it because we've had times where someone has pulled up to the gate and they just sit here puzzled because they don't under, they can't, I guess they don't see the push to call button or they don't know what they're doing and they'll just sit there wondering why the gate's not opening or maybe they pulled up too far and since the gate opens out even though there's a big sign that says stop here i need to tell them to pull back so with this uh, particular gsm intercom you're actually able to call it it will auto answer and then you can initiate the conversation with the person waiting at the gate surprisingly a lot of them did not have that functionality a lot of the other cheaper ones that you, that you may find for sale uh in the two three hundred four hundred dollar price range on ebay so like I said, once I talked this company into sending this to me, uh, I told them that I understood that I couldn't use it with AT&T, and finally they said they would send it to me. So I've got it. It's working. It's very nice. You can also text the gate. I mean, there's so much you can do with this. You can have a trigger hooked up to it, so if you have a sensor on the ground, when someone pulls up, it'll automatically send you a text that there's someone at the gate. Um, you can have it so you can just call it, and it won't answer. It'll just call and ring and we'll open the gate just by seeing your pre-programmed caller ID. And um, that's great because you don't use any minutes if you're using a pre-paid or a pre -paid SIM card like I am. I just use a T-Mobile pay-as-you-go SIM card. It's a minimum charge of $3 a month for 30 minutes or 30 text messages. And um, just doing a lot of testing, so I use a little bit more than that, and it starts pulling away from your balance when you do that. But if you just keep like a $20 balance on here, you know, $3 a month, do the math. You know, just every six months, put another $20 on it, and you're set to go for very minimal cost with this system. So, obviously, I know there's not a lot of how-to in this, but um, I just wanted to make a little video to give you guys an idea of what you can do for a... Rare, I would say a pretty inexpensive cost. I mean, the cost of the gate and everything is expensive, but 
you're usually talking thousands of dollars when you're when you're putting in a gate and like this whole setup right here is under you know under three hundred dollars and um, that includes the pole and I even have this little motion controlled light LED light right here that runs on AA batteries that so when someone drives up to the gate at night it clicks on the light because that's the problem when you don't have power down here and it's in a remote location uh, this is the situation to run into so in theory if you were in a area that got plenty of Sun you would not have to have any power down here because this is all the whole system is running off of the 12 volt battery that's being trickle charged constantly and at idle this thing I think this it's about 70 milliamps it's a very small amount of current that it draws uh, so the battery is able to keep up and stay charged uh, if you have any questions go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll try to answer them the best I can like I said the company that makes this is Advent Controls if you just google that they're in uh, Great Britain in the UK and I actually received it in about three three days uh, via DHL Express and just got it installed and it works perfect